And Mishy, what happened last session? Oh no. Uh. Uh, we decided to, well, we, when we ended up, we were like, we decided to enter at night from the top, and then when we went, and everybody was basically staying behind, but then there was some guard pissing, <laughs> and that fucked up everything. That's what I, one thing I remember. I'm trying hard, guys. I believe you. Um, and, um, there was another guard in the middle, and everything was going fine, Blaze's character was on the ceiling, the monster's character was behind everybody, and everybody was, and Logic's character were trying to get to the other room, and when the guy in the pissing, what? The guy in the pissing. Yeah. The guy in the pisser. Exactly. I'm anxiety, like literally, guys. Please give me. <laughs> um. And I think the pissing guy was starting to notice something was weird out there, and that's when Avery decided to clonk him. And what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and blonk. In one word, clock and bonk. No, 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 no. I honestly don't was not really what happened. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, I don't really remember much after that. Like, it's all the head trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Got pretty fucked up. Yes, so many uh, died. So many people died. All yeah, of them post the fault. Yeah, continue on. Attempt to, uh... Attempt to explain the rest of the session. You got half a recap left. You could also pass it on to someone else if you want. Would you like mercy? The post is known for her mercy. Ask those four <laughs> All mer- all deaths are your fault. <laughs> Intentional or otherwise. Hi, hi, hi. Three of those were completely avoided. Probably. They just had to stop fighting and run away from the T-Rex. Yes, make sure you're willing to continue your recap. Hello? Are you trying to speak to your logic, Mike? I can't believe there's a power outage at Logic's house. I'll never forgive the Americans. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, hey, hey. Blame specifically the... Fuck, where are they? Internet companies. They were... I know they're near Florida. Rooster teeth. No, that's Texas. I mean, Logic was from Texas.
Is it Mississippi they were in? I can't believe the cat started mauling, uh, like they, they just mauled those to the death. Well then, who wants to the pick cat, up the slack? The cat, the cat heard them complaining about the pissing. I'll do it. <laughs> it pissed on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it eat in a cable. Right. Uh, I'm pissing on the router. I will do it. I'm pissing on the moon. They played that in Times Square once. They did. Somebody paid money to have that played in Times Square. Yeah, because there's, there's no profanity to filter. Yep. So, uh, continuing off from the pissing guard, uh, Demonics jumped the gun and smacked him. I think if he dealt two more damage, he would. Everything would have been fine. Yeah. Uh, but then everything went bad when the when the pissing guard rolled a natural twenty for initiative. Then everything started going downhill from there. Uh, more guards started getting lowered to our position <laughs> as the now loud heist continued on, shit just got worse. Uh, I was in a vent, readying myself to find a way to get in there, stealthily. Uh, Logic did his- did what he does best, get beat up, and make it out somehow. Uh, Lise was crawling on the ceiling, as they do. As time went on, the guards left the room. I went in, Blaze went around to the side, fighting was happening, more guards showed up. Me and Blaze successfully got the stone switched out, grabbed it and ran. Uh, then the then somebody noticed and then shouted that and then the the custodian lady showed up and st <laughs> then Opposa turned on the T Rex and then everything kept and then everything started to go better for our side. They had family. Uh, four guards died. Uh, one of them because opposed to fucking bit them. No, it wasn't because I bit them. It was because I drained them all for blood. There's a difference. It's in semantics. So, uh, we got out. We got a lot. We were, we were alive. Uh, that thing is now. It's, that thing's now sealed, destroyed, sealed, lived to. Uh, then we got paid. I'm pretty sure it's just sealed. Probably. Yes. I don't remember. I can't believe she was the cultist all along. Mm. Yeah, and then we got paid oh, money. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, God. Then we got paid money. Uh, and then we are here now. Actually, we also got magic items. Uh, do you guys want to see what you would have fought if it hatched? Uh, that's it. These boots are made for walking. Actually, speaking of which, do you guys want to see what you guys would have fought? If it hatched? Sure. Uh, yeah, let me just make sure this is the right thing. Uh, conclusion. No, that's the wrong. Just pops down. Just, just pops down. Sir? <laughs> Xanathar senses regards.
Yeah, so at first if it hatches, it uses... Here, I'll just show this to all players, and you can also edit it. That's when it first hatches. Oh, it's an ant tag. E. Oh, uh. it's, oh, it's actually just an ant tag! <laughs> um, it would then, uh, grow into, uh, uh, be here. Uh, if no one defeats it within, uh, a few days. Oh. Oh, oh my few god. Days. A few days. Okay. We were never coming back here anyway. <laughs> I'll leave that the actual adventure. Yeah. Because basically, um, what happens with the first one, uh, let's say, like, it's not, like, if it hatches, it basically turns museum into its lair, so then it's, it becomes like a Left 4 Dead scenario, or the Last of Us scenario. But yes, with the completion of your heist, you have been made official operatives of the Golden Vault. With this, you were transported to the demi-plane of the leader, Mr. Roderick, Lavendula, and Gusty, and given your own house, which comes with a key that you can use to access your house. You are offered uh, to place your house somewhere you would like it, and you are told to enjoy your downtime until your next mission comes up. In this time, you may do a whole manner of things. It is really up to you and your imaginations. So, I then pose the question to you all. Does anyone did you want ugh, does anyone want to particularly go first? Or shall I have you roll D20s? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's answer that question. Okay. Everybody D20. roll a D20. Well, actually no, let's just roll it. Well, yeah, D20 and then I'll put you on the initiative. Please. You bitch. Wait, no, there's he, a five in there. Yeah, he got a five. And, yeah, there's a five in there. Logic, Mushi, one of you get a six. Or a sixteen. Or twenty six. Or twenty six. I do genuinely wonder if, like, something's happened, or... E on the message in neither of them, in real life. Well, they would have have to have noticed something, you know? yeah. Well, something has to have been going on.
Well, also on the side note, it is crazy how much the One Piece live action trail, how many views the One Piece trailer has. Both the Gear 5 and the and the actual uh, live action trailer have. Because I think the transformation one has like 5 million views at this point. So many. I just hope it turns out to be good. Like, it looks like it's going to be good. But come on. Please. Well. i back in just a second. Okay. Well, while we wait for them, we'll start off with what we have so far. Demonics. What would you like to do during your first week of downtime? I would like to try for a proficiency in stealth. Wait, did we train? Was that part of the options? Or yeah, you, you could train a proficiency. Okay, I'll add. I'll add. Go for it. Okay. Well. If you make your intentions known that you want to become more skilled in stealth, you will be taken to a boot camp on stealth uh, that the vault offers for those who want to be more inconspicuous. Indeed. Uh, can you go ahead and roll me Uh, one stealth check for now. Ooh, very good. Hey! As it seems, without your armor weighing you down or anything of the sort, Especially since you now have the Mithra one. Indeed. You are surprisingly pretty proficient. Well, not proficient yet, but pretty good in it. As you're not an expert by any means yet. But that is a good amount of luck towards it. Mm hmm. But that, if that is your first week down the drain, Opposer, what would you like to be working on? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm debating between two things, and they both seem equally useful and not useful at the same time. <laughs> Um, so, you know what, I think for now, uh, I will just try to go with, uh, proficiency, I'll go for trying to train a proficiency in perception. Okay. Which, surprise, surprise, the Oaks have a boot cap at this. It's almost like, a. Uh, picture book where you're supposed to well they take you to your room and you're supposed to find an item in the room standing from a singular position so please roll me a perception check as well nope oh. okay <laughs> roll 20 took a bit but they refuse to change. As well, I don't need to do another calculation because that is the same result. You are also pretty good at it. Perhaps it is your years of searching for things 
matter, a singular thing. You also make very good progress in your efforts. Not quite proficient yet, but definitely a good ways there. And how about you, Sly? I am going to be broadening my knowledge base. Ooh. I'm generally going to essentially look for... Because there's a bunch of... Because as I be have learned, there's a bunch of information that doesn't match up with a bunch of other people's because different dimensions. So I'm going to broaden my knowledge so that I can get a generalization of stuff. So I, if I get asked questions, I'm not caught on the back foot of... I don't fucking know. Okay. Ah, uh, is there any specific... Uh, thing you want, or just general knowledge? It would be general knowledge for now. Okay. Just, just, <clears throat> just so I can have like a like how some things are similar. There's many things that change between dimensions. I want to try to bridge enough of a bridge the gap enough to be like, okay, I can kind of, I kind of understand that, so I can jump off from anybody asking. So I don't look suspicious when I don't know clearly obvious details. Okay, how about you give me an intelligence check? Oh no. Yo! Are you alive? 16? Yeah. Can you come down? Alright. That's a pretty good. I'll be right back. Yes, I have. I think. Glitch is here. Hello, Glitch. Watch has been subjected to AFK. And, uh. Hello. Glitch is taking his place. Am... Yes, I am. Quickly make a character. Just be here to check in while I'm. I'm trying to make a character, just not for this. <laughs> Another data problem? Need... No. Uh, plus, I have all of those concepted. I just need to get a couple more things done with the literal single one that's left. Um, no, I'm working. I'm working on the vice direct. Oof. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Ah. So we can uh. learn, learn about them, but never actually meet them. Like most of the like. This lady. Of the this lady. So I will probably be using this, that is probably going to be used as reference art because it's a bit blocky. So I'll use this one and just say, like, use that one for reference art as the swords are there. <laughs> but yes. Uh, with your 16 intelligence, looking into the basic things of other worlds, you... Basically, understand that the Golden Vault wa ranks wards based on the magic level, the technology level, and how old the civilization is. These usually rank from one to five. One technology is basic. Well. In context of, you know, yo, basically ranks things from either no magic ones to vote for to a high magic society. And when one is a uh, ranked five, the technology or magic in question can easily be mistaken as one or the other with how uh, advanced bam. it is. Okay. What are these? <laughs> what are these video games? <laughs> so. uh, that is a product of uh, stage 4 in the knowledge show. It's, well, stage 3 and 4, though in both of those, and technically 5. But it is games like card games that you would often find, but that take place in technological units. Hmm. 
such as the PS6. Ah, oh, we have to fix that. <laughs> Neato. So my horizons are being broadened, if only generally. I can understand most of what people say now. Yeah. You at least, like, no, like, broad common talks, because it surprises you a little bit with just how much common things are, like, they're all, like, the divergent things. It does seem like most of the civilizations you are dealing with are about a three and a two. Three magic and two technology. Okay. Generally. Okay. Good to know. A weird emphasis on this one place called the Zorkin. Yes. <laughs> I mean, of course. There's like mention of other places there, but for some reason everything seems to happen around the Zorkin. I just agree. In my search, can I try to find my world ranking if it has one? Uh, yours. Yours is probably a three magic of an asterisk and a two. That's fair. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was also labeled an outlier. Although you're not quite and sure what that means. Interesting. Um, things to figure out for later if I ever, if I ever feel like it. Uh, that's pretty much it for my stuff. Okay. Yes, week two. Lower light. What would you be like to do on your week two? Are you continuing your? Continue. Okay. Roll me another stealth. Da, 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 da. Hey, oh. And roll me another one. Hey. <sighs> Man, the stuff that's good for useless what I actually need. <laughs> yeah, you, you're wasting all your luck. <sighs> yep, yep. Uh, so congratulations. With those rolls, you gain your stealth proficiency. How's it? Yay! Do stealth. <laughs> <laughs> what you roll for? Look, it could make a difference at some point. Oh, not a both knife, okay. No. I sent them messages, didn't get any response, so hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully. Well, it makes it's not too bad because I might have to dip again, again to eat, so hopefully not back when I get back. But yes, I'm guessing you are doing the same pose with your perceptions. Yes. Okay, roll your perception, or do you want to take the 18? Uh, you... You tempt me so well. <laughs> I mean, you, you got the same number as Demonic, so obviously you're gonna roll the same number this time. Right? Yeah, yeah of course, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ten less than eight. <laughs> Twelve less than what? <sighs> Look, I'm slightly sorry. But also I appreciate you doing the meme that I will give you a bit more. 
Pretty points, pretty points. Pretty points. I'll give you an additional 20 on that. <laughs> well, because I times it by the week, how many days you're doing it. So yeah, not as good as the first time. The Sunday we're kind of doing it in the light, and although you don't really have a light aversion, you don't like the light as much. And Sly. Oh yeah, I've been sitting yes. in a building. Yeah, I've been sitting in the building for the greater half of the century. Yeah, now that uh, my generalization knowledge has been achieved, which is good enough, specific things can come later. How, how much more would it to train a feet? Like, how much more time would that take? Compared to, like, give me one second. Uh, how much is your feet? It really depends on the feet, because some feet I I have a higher price value on. Yeah, uh, how much would it take telepathic? With some justifications of why. Why I'm picking that one to try to train. Give me your justifications. So, you know how all... Uh, rab <coughs> uh, us rabbit folk in my world have a very uh, spiritual thing going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very, very spiritual. I'm trying to see if I can't tap into the spiritual kind of energies that we exhibit just kind of naturally from our being. See if I can't try to tap into some, some type of communication that I could spiritually communicate with some people, specifically within 60 feet. Some fey-ish type of magic, because I think that was the part part of our deal. Fey-ish, fey wild-ish. Okay. My uh, justification is there. This one will be a l not the hardest to train, but it's not easy because it does give you a bunch of good stuff. It I I, I figured it'd be important just to see if I can't try. You can definitely try. Uh, which I will pro which uh, skill are you aiming to increase? Charisma. Okay, these will be charisma checks then. I'd love to argue for persuasion, but no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh. No. I'm back. Why don't we have a merc on our hatch on? <laughs> uh, this group was showing off what would have happened if uh, the work wire was down there. And how oh. fucked we would be. Yeah. Remember, oh, okay. Remember the Bahir logic? So yeah, it, yeah. yeah it, would, it would have hatched into a oh. CR2 creature, and then after a few days would have evolved into a Bahir. You could have oh. gotten bored again. No. No, thank you. So yeah, currently we're training. I'm trying to train telepathy. Demonics has successfully trained stealth, I'm failing to train perception. <laughs> Look, that training is a cheating. Correct. Also, everything good on your side, Logic? Good. Did, did the cat piss on your router? No. We have an anti-pissing system in place now. Okay. <laughs> the anti-pisser. Um, but yes. Uh, roll me that charisma. Ha! Ah, 18! What is with everyone rolling an 18 on the first time? Like, thank you for sparing me to do the math, but come on, guys. You said it was value time number of days of 7, so... As... 
this is something that you will have to do in solitary, as you probably find a quiet place on the, uh, I'm just going to call it the Citadel, because that's kind of why I imagined it as. The Golden Citadel. That's fair. Uh, and you mainly just meditate, trying to access your latent abilities. Which... It takes... It is taking a while. But oh, you're good. making progress. <laughs> but, uh, can I get a d20 from you, Torin? Enter the initiative. Yes! <laughs> you know what? That. You know what? This makes sense. This makes sense. Torin spent the first week actually just resting, so he doesn't look to shit. Okay, okay. I will still give you something for week one if you want. Oh, I mean... Want sure. Skills. E. Uh, for the context, lower light spent time training stealth, opposed to, uh, perception, and Sly was reading on the multiverse. Yeah, I'll be right there! I'll up all my stuff like this session. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do your week one before I have to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can uh, have it. I can think. I do wish to try and try and train a feat. Oh. Which one? What what else could it be? He's he wants to be able to punch someone with impunity. The lucky punch thing. and leave. He wants mobile. He wants zooms. Mm, I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are taken to, again, one of the more common things people try to gain. A more, uh, basically a racetrack with different uh, obstacles you have to dodge and, you know, strike and hit. Uh, this would mm -hmm. probably be, I think it's fair to say, a dexterity check. Fair enough. Check. Mm, 19. Wow, break the mold, why don't you? Everyone else I got an 18, but you just couldn't. <laughs> you and your prime. Did you? What? Oh yeah, you did. You just rolled below. I was looking at your I HP. What? I was looking at your HP and like, did you roll HP? No, yeah, no, it was you just didn't. low. I think I was one of the only people who rolled really well outside of probably demonics. Uh, much roll decent. I, I just took average wizard. That's fair. Average, I think. Uh, yeah, average wizard. Yeah, I think I have 17 hit points. But yes, I will be right back as I need to go through soon. But, on to week two. I imagine you want to do much of the same. Yeah. Okay, give me another dexterity. Well, are you going to follow the Monarch's path or Seaman's path? Uh... Success. Not funny or not bad funny? Oh, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> he did the path to do he did even worse than me! He uh, failure! Which, unfortunately, oh. as good as nat 20s are, nat 1s are stagnant. That Nothing course, has been gained. That course was just oh. ass. Oh, stagnant. Oh, stagnant, not penalty unless? Well, oh. uh, like, I would make it a penalty. But that would be mean since it's grouped into weeks. <laughs> ah, yeah, roll me a d20. Oh, you got a, you got a 19? Oh, you're at negative now. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you're if you somehow got slower, you lose five movements. 
Ah, uh, sorry, bro. <laughs> nothing, nothing has, nothing has been gained. Yes. Nothing personnel. Did. Just fuck that course. You swear Greg was there, sabotaging you. And Greg. Putting misinformation on the internet and sabotaging courses. But yes, we go to the top. After week three, you must call upon your best friend, your brother in arms. Hmm. 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 Yes, look. That's a good idea, right, Ron? That's a good idea. <laughs> but yes, the door light with, well, quite, to put it quite bluntly, uh, mm -hmm. surprising your instructors, you have acquired the skills of stealth. What would you like to do now? Acquired um, the skill of opening things. Thieves tool? Indeed. Okay. I thought I thought you were gonna joke and say expertise and stealth. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Um. How okay. Uh, again, this is one of the common things they have crash courses on. Uh you are. It's more like first you get shown uh mag like magical images about it, about, you know, the dangers of trying to open every single chest you find. Like that one. Uh, but since we know that you're gonna ignore this anyway, here's how to make sure to disarm traps and, well, open it. Roll, Roll. me a dexterity check. Roll that dex check. Check? Yes. What the fuck? That's 17, let's go! <laughs> Literally a nat 20, a nat 18, it. and a nat 17. What the he's fuck? He's doing it, guy! Look, he's doing it! <laughs> Don't, forget the nat Don't forget the nat 15. Oh, I just... He's... Can't. Doesn't want to be oh, stopped well, before the there store. Is to, there is much to grow here. The ways, the ways of the rogue have not, can be imparted quite easily. A rank learning, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's just gonna come at the cost of actual competency. Probably. What happened on this mission? Well, I swear they were great, but every they they passed every check, every maneuver. But in the field, they just kept fucking it up. <laughs> they triggered every trap. They broke okay. every lock. But they keep not failing. Is this what- is this the idiot savant I heard so much about? But there are six of them. <laughs> uh, I was talking about the hand arm, but okay. A poser. They, they also rolled a nat 15 on the initiative, too. I- <laughs> Yes, uh... Hello! Stagnant! Oh my god! Nothing has been gained! I'm sure just taking the 18. Shut up. Uh... Cool dudes want me to roll now? Yes, I'm guessing you are training your feet as well. Yeah, it's straight roll, just roll, roll charisma. You'll roll your charisma. 21. Nicely done. It is. As I shall add that number to the numbers. Well, you sly. Well, I'm noting them on your sheets. Oh. There you go. Okay, as you seclude yourself once again and 
you feel like your mind is being able to start reaching out. But now you're focusing on pushing that connection and targeting things. But very well done, nonetheless. Torin! <laughs> Back Let's at the obstacle get... course. Zoom. Could be Did worse. Could have been another out one. You know, could have been. It could have been worse, but it wasn't. In fact, people might say that that was a pretty well done job. Ah, that's an easy addition. And as you start to speed up a bit. And get a little bit better. But still progress to be made. Especially after the disaster that was last time. Yeah. And yeah. for the final week. Where the monks get another nat 20. Well, he Unlikely. I mean... Anything's likely. So, dex check? Yes. If you're continuing your Thieves Tools training. Hey! I mean, it's probably, it could be a pass. It's Thieves Tools. You have the, you have probably like five to ten different people to tell you how to use them. Yeah. I sent that uh, thing to my friend Greg and he just said confirmed. <laughs> That's not the useful one. Getting all this misinformation on the internet. Lola, you're a little disappointed that this is taking longer than you're used to, but well, no one could be perfect. But is there any? Well, I'll do final things once we go around once more. Opposer. Opposer, girl boss, please. Thank you. Hey, you got that eighteen again. <laughs> Doing it. You did it. Uh, let's see. What does that add up to? That is kind of sad. I'm barely, I'm barely off. Yeah. Barely off. You're, bit, you're off by 22. Ah. Uh, you hate to see it. hate to see it. That's the equivalent of being off by 2, pretty much. No. 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 <laughs> off by 3.1. There you go. My turn. Yes. Ah! The number. That is a number. You are correct. I was it's really progress. Not just going to get a two. I'm going to be real. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got good rolls. I'm making my head. Zooms. They will come in time. Not today, but in time. Oh, that was a decent roll. Uh, that yes. is that much to be added to this amount. Out of? This amount. Mm -hmm. Oh. That was the wrong command. Good <laughs> thing to see. Undo button. As you guys have a bit of not enough time to actually train anything, but enough time to go out, purchase anything you want, or do anything in particular. Is there anything you guys really want to do before Destiny calls? I 
Parker, this key card, and this guard rotation. I'm sorry. I should also probably get this card pass on my inventory. I don't think there's anything I want to buy. I think there's something I want to buy. Oh no. How much do these cost? I want to buy uh, a pair of ball bearings. A pair? A yeah. pair? Like a two pair. Two ball bearings. Two ball. I've, got, I've got like a hundred. A thousand. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, some ball bearings. Hey, Gru, I just remembered something I have. Can I can I cheat for a second on the training? Uh oh. I forgot what my archetype let me do. Uh, where is our. Hmm. Yeah, because I realized I forgot to put my archetype features on the roll 20. <laughs> Look at you. That is Hmm. You know what? I won't give you a reroll, but I will give you enough to basically as a bonus to get your thing. Thank you. <laughs> you did it. Basically, uh, making the nat one not a nat one, and you because if it wasn't a nat one, you would have had enough. You would have had it. You, how does it feel? Well, you would have been one point like off, I, but like I have the power of the time and I have the power of time in my hand. Oh. Answer. That's a logic question, but yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. Uh, you, you, your character, does your character have, like, Yakuza tattoos? Um, you saw a bit of a back tattoo when you saw in the, in the hole of his old clothes. Okay. Um, from the blast, but... Besides that... If you ask him about it, then it's a whole different would, story. That's, that's the plan. Okay. But, so, because I realize what no, the, a lot of people in my world, except for some people, don't exactly get tattooed. Hmm. Good, good. That's probably about what, like, only very specific people get tattoos in the world, right? In your world? Or least, oh, like in... Yeah. Hmm. Definitely know one group of people that get fucking tattooed. <laughs> I would say, yeah, though it's probably that kind of, th probably not exactly like that, but there was kind of like the whole like, getting a tattoo is a signal of family. Okay. Yeah, my my curiosity's there, and it gives me a conversation topic. Okay. I'll let you buy your ball bearing, your your two ball bearings first. Uh, to be yeah, sure, that's like... two bags of ball bearings, right? Yeah. Okay. A PHB prices. You don't get the discounts yet. Kind of. Watch. Get the disc. 
How much do those cost? Uh, I can get you that in one second. I have the book here. Having the books was so useful when my internet was dying. I imagine. Um, a gold for a bag of a thousand. Yes. You take those. And it's a point. It is point one copper pieces for a single ball bear. So, <laughs> technically speaking, in terms of currency, ball bearings. It's the currency after copper. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's actually something I <laughs> like the guys. It's a like ball of caps. Like. God. They are. They are the good one. I like to buy a stud leather. Stud leather? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how much it costs. Uh. Oh, I, I flipped exactly to the page. Holy shit. 45 uh, GP. 45. Nice. Well, How it's probably 45 GP. Damn it! My 10 gold I took away from myself! <laughs> because I didn't have that much money! Damn you, past me! <laughs> Damn you! We should have stolen just... more from the museum. Should have just lied! If I sell my leather armor, could I get enough money? How much leather armor go for? I think 10 uh, GP. 10 gold, so, so selling it would be like 5 at most. Yeah. Damn you, pass me. Damn. Damn it. God damn it. Ignore me in my failure. Will do. How about you, Demox? Anything you particularly want to buy? No, not really. Okay. Well then, I guess the only question I have is are you guys ready to proceed to the next day? Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys can have that conversation. Did it? I have like a, I guess a townhouse. I guess would be the best word to describe it. Like it just a house we all live in. E is this a, the dorm room? E it's essentially that's, that you have all your own private rooms. Yeah, like like a dorm room. E. But you know, we don't pay rent. We just we do jobs. Even then, we can choose to not for a while. But please do jobs, though. Yeah. Jess, I find you, uh... He's prop. Prop? Who cooks? I- I cook. I have cooking utensils proficiency. I right. do not cook. Toron probably can't- probably helps. Sometimes. Oh god, figuring out what all of us eat would, would, must have been uh, weird. Uh, a posa can make healthy meals. Torn can make- however! Torn can make meals. We'll take it. I but, imagine uh, the precious thing cooks tools. I yeah. didn't know what I'll fix the tool precious thing. Fair enough. I, I have proficiency in survival, not the bad way. Actually, you probably would find them like some, like out out somewhere uh, in the like common area, uh, sewing one of his uh, sewing the hole, patching up the hole in one of his uh, his coat. <laughs> You're sewing it with a slightly discolored patch. Um, actually, I'm, I'm gonna check this. What would this be? What, what check what this be? He has weaver's tools. Proficiency. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, so I think probably dexterity. I would think. All right. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah, yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sure. You you'd have to look really close in order to really tell. Which should 
be fine until he gets another one that he another set that he likes. Fly walks up. How goes uh, sewing the whole, whole back up in your jacket? Once. It. He, like, seems to take out some measuring tools. Should be fine. Not perfect, but until I find another set of clothes I particularly care for, should be should should work just fine. Thank God you guys have magic. Well, Weirdly enough, some of you some of you guys have magic. Look, the fact that one the fact that a third of the third of the people in this house can point at point at my clothes and get rid of all the blood stains. Maybe one day, but that's currently not me. Look, I wasn't expecting to... Um... I wasn't expecting anything like this. So... Uh... I'm pretty sure both... I, well... Everyone except for maybe Amy was expecting to die? She seemed pretty comfy, from what I understand. You say that, like, but then she talked about the war, and I've been too I awkward to ask. I don't know what the... She, she talks about her games a lot. I don't know what half of it means. I know what most of it means, which says concerning things about the overlap between our realities. It, it's not that's there's actually quite a few overlaps from what I understand from my not from my research. Oh God. If she asks you to look at any something called a meme, run. What's a meme? Don't worry about it. Just oh, no, that, don't... Probably, that probably came up in your studies. Oh, yeah. oh, memes! I just learned about that two weeks ago. Was it about... Did it involve strange pictures, or was it talk, was it an old German guy talking about DNA? Alright, you know what? Off topic. What Anything I can do for you? Uh, I have a question about your tattoo. He... It's... He, like, he, uh, kind of sits up a little bit and sets the thing down. Um, what about it? Uh... What, are... <clears throat> what exactly does it mean? Well... Uh... The uh, gang I was with, the Yakuza or, or whatever. Um, once you get past the initiation stage, uh, you know, actually make yourself like true blue, uh, true blue in the orc in the in the in the families. You know, you um, get a tattoo, usually a pretty elaborate one on your back. A lot of people I know uh, get them to go over their shoulders and such, but I uh, I went to a special guy, actually. Um, let's see if I still have this. And in one motion, he grabs the edge of his shirt and swiftly pulls off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> one pull. You don't know how that's possible, considering it was a button-up. Uh, and he didn't seem to go through the sleeves, but he did it. <laughs> so I was looking like, how many times have you learned how to do that? Do what? With the, but you didn't, even, you didn't even unbutton it. I just took my shirt off. I don't know what you're talking. Oh. You, you look. He doesn't. There's this confusion in his eyes. Seems to not register what he did was weird. Um, but he turns around and it is, uh a particularly detailed uh, tattoo of a panther. Specifically a panther uh, like oof, running up his back through a bunch of uh, through a grassy field. That's a lot more elaborate than I, than I think I'm used to seeing. There's a lot more less, less images. 
yeah, like there are less images less images there's this like weird wispy effect around the uh, outside of the the grassy field border it, it covers almost his entire back and the, the colors are very vibrant uh, and if you couldn't and if you if you uh if you if you upon closer expansion you see it kind of pulse a light purple glow in, t- in tune with his breathing Now that I finally healed up, I feel uh, back in full form. I, uh, special enough in the fact that I got mine done in one session, um, which took all day, but it was on the cheap, and the old man insisted that he could do it all at once. Uh, hurt like hell. Uh, yeah, I don't think tattoos are exactly super pleasant to get put on. No, and you usually take these things in stages. You get the you get part of the part of the design done, part of the design finished, and you let it heal, come back, redo, come back, redo, get it colored, and all that. It takes even then each session should be like eight hours, or well six to like four to eight hours, and then you should take some time off in between. But uh, I think he had me hold up in there for about a day and a half. Weirdest part is, again, uh, afterwards, I could do uh, this, and he, like, clenches his fists, and his and his entire body lights up in purple. <laughs> okay, now, now, now you're doing it, like, fully, and you acknowledge it. Yeah, I, I feel like... And he lets out a bunch of very rapid jabs, like, much faster than he was doing previously. Do you not um, see the purple haze? The what? <laughs> Is the phenomenon all the other people can see? You swear you see that. like these like weird symbols floating around him? <laughs> Fun fact, I believe the uh in, in the Yakuza series specifically the the glowing is real. That is happening. Uh no one no one worries about it. <laughs> Do you not see the purple haze? If I, if I go insane here. Well, I get a lot. Sure of I feel this we there's this weird haze of heat that comes over my body when I do this. But besides that, you sure, it's not some type of like spiritual shit in your world. I, uh, I'm one of the only people I saw with who, who were like this. I mean, you hear stories, you know. So who knows? But I think the tattoo is magical, or at least very spiritual. Mm. I, you know, subtle yet not subtle way. Yeah, so I thought I was confused for a while too, and then uh, I came to that conclusion once I got really, uh, really into it one day, and then I could do this, and he uh, strolls around and uh, swings his fist, hitting like some object about ten feet away from him. So uh, that's when I started thinking uh, maybe the old man was magic, because um, I could never find him again after that. That signifier something. Yeah, yeah. Found a lot good. Found a lot of good it did me. I could take down like ten, fifteen people, but you know when they start shooting you. Uh, <laughs> afterward, after afterwards, people stop getting in melee range. Bow. Or a gun. I learned that recently. You don't see that had guns? I did not. Yeah. That's why you got beat up. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you for indulging me about your tattoo. Oh, problem. You'll probably see. I, I'll, I'll probably see. You probably see it when things when things hit the fan. 
didn't really have the energy to do it last time. As he, uh... Just normally puts his shirt back on. Somehow it yeah, became so, um, unbuttoned. Yeah. You, you swear it wasn't unbuttoned when he pulled it off. You can't do it in reverse. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't do it in reverse. It's not how it works. Only you take it off magically. You can't put it back on in reverse. Okay, allow me to supply a counterpoint. I am pretty sure in Yakuza 0, uh, there was a point where Kiryu like, does go from, like, scene to scene, uh, like, takes off his shirt to fight a boss. Next scene, he has the shirt back on, like, directly after the fight. But then directly after that, he fights the final boss <laughs> and takes the shirt off again. Only when it's the final boss. <laughs> yeah, only only for the final boss. Yeah, but... if it, it only, if it's repent, if it's bosses in a row, he has to be able to pull it, pull it back off. You know, it wasn't bosses in a row. It was uh, the bit with uh, Nishiki. Oh. Took the shirt off for the bit with Nishiki. Shirt magically got put on by the end of it. Then when going to fight, fight. I think that was happening with that. I could be misremembering now. Maybe it's been a long time. So, yeah, uh, that's that was, that's my conversation with Logic. <laughs> Unless he has random tidbits to question me about my world. Oh, Why? Yeah. Or the ears. He's grown used to the ears. So, like... Yeah, he's got no questions about the ears. He doesn't want to be accidentally racist. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody else is gonna be. Yeah, that's why he, he just gonna, he's just gonna hold off. He's just not gonna step in the minefield. Yeah. <laughs> He he may have he may be a crime boy, but he wasn't racist. <laughs> I commit crimes. I'm not racist. Look, like uh, I do illegal things, but I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> I'm a bad guy, but I'm not a bad guy. Honestly, thank God they were. Thank God they got he, the guy got to me when he did. A little longer, they probably would have taken off a few of my fingers. I may be one of the worst. People imaginable. But I'm not a fucking Nazi. <laughs> I'm, not... <laughs> I'm a criminal, but I'm an American I'm a criminal. criminal. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Ah. So yeah, <laughs> once something else happens, we can go do the thing now. <laughs> Any last things? And if you want to do something with the two characters not present, just let us know, and we shall put a footnote on that. No. Likewise, if they want to speak of you, you shall be hunted down yeah. and executed. Please don't. We just escaped that fate. Thankfully you can't I... escape from crossing fates. That's my line. Thankfully, thankfully I doubt any of the three ring people will hunt me down. Well, good thing this is a heist game. I do have a new cloak that protects me from being hunted down. I have... Technically, technically gained nothing. No, you've gained an admirer. A blood brother. Mm. 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 Uh, yeah! Last, his last one of those is probably. I wonder what magic item did you pick, actually? A two. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? You know what? This this makes sense. Why did I even ask? Why did I yeah. even ask? Yeah, no, the strike. Which tattoo? Eldritch tattoo. Ah, uh, okay. He's. Ah, uh, arm strikes are magical and get plus one that hit and damage. It, 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 it. I get you, I get you. No, this makes sense. This, this tracks. All of this is true. Yeah, I. Well, the latent power yeah. has been unlocked. Exactly. He's just, he's not tired anymore. Just like Yakuza again. Exactly. I mean, oh, oh, actually, yeah. Oh, shit. That's really good for you. What the fuck? Yeah. 
Yeah. But yes. With that depressing thought out of the mind. <laughs> you get the knock on your door one day. And your handle of is there. Mm. Just gonna... Put on the screen. Oh, hi. Um, good afternoon, operatives. Good finger salute. I hope you all have been well. I'm well enough. It's cozy, uh, cozy, no threat of my life yet. No more holes and no more holes. Apparently, magic heals bullet wounds. Magic can do a lot of things. It's only amazing, really. I am discovering this. Indeed. So, you want this hat? Amazing indeed, she says, fucking through her journal. Um, well, I hope you all had enough rest and got to do whatever you wanted. Um, if you are interested, there is a mission available that was decided to be given to you all, should you accept, of course. Mm-hmm. Right. Lay it on us. As uh, she takes out her key. Or the key. I trust you have the box on hand? Oh, wait. Bag. Box uh, and bag. Box and bag? I don't know. But I don't think... We can I don't say think, it is. We can say it is. Let's say it is. I don't think we ever got told to take the box, but uh, sure. Uh, Opposa will, I guess, check the bag because no one ever took it from her. Yeah. Box? Yes. Box. Uh, she Why hands... Can't... Probably tore in the key, as is another golden key. This time, well, you you can see what it is. A key of a winged devil, almost holding a ball-like object. Hmm. That's probably just. Walks up the, uh, walk, walking up the court. Ah, that is a pleasant image for a key. Well, let's get the whole let's get the whole story first. Uh, As he hands you the box, takes the box. Insert key. Insert key. As you insert the key and turn it, a voice, much like before, starts playing. Greetings, operatives. An ally of the Golden Vault named Verity Key had her life savings stolen from her by a devious gambling partner. We found an oh. opportunity to right this wrong. This quest, should you choose to undertake it, requires you to infiltrate the Afterlife Casino and steal a statuette and a sum of money. Meet Verity at the Brine Widowed Tavern to learn more details. Good luck, operatives. It's gonna be weird to be on the other side of this now. One of these, one of these things. Usually, I'm defending the casino. All right. Yeah, uh, perhaps you could explain what this casino is. Um, you know, gambling houses. Do you have those places where people bet money I'm... on things? Is that a is that a thing? Is gambling a I'm thing? I'm aware of the concept. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's basically one of those. It's just one of those. It's fighting pets. Sometimes. 
depends on where you, depends on where you're at. From what we can tell into our investigation of this place, it is mostly a legal casino. But oh, okay, don't fight with mm-hmm. But uh, Verity or uh, Miss Kai will be able to provide you more details once we get on location. Should you, of course, accept. You, you, yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, looks in. Any guy, you guys, any problems with robbing, robbing, uh, robbing the house blind? Uh, I see no issues with it. It's not exactly like I have a need to defend the casino. I barely understand, I barely learned the concept like two weeks ago. I also don't have much. Alright. Looks to Lorelite. Sounds good to me. He, uh... Well, turns back. Well, there's your answer. Looks like, looks like you, you looks like we're all in. Pun intended. Very well then. As the box closes and the key becomes loose, she will come and take the key and go to the door that well. She came through, insert the key. As you start to hear the house vibrate a little bit. And unlock the door. As the first thing that you immediately find is it is much hotter here. It is probably around 30 degrees Celsius. Yes. Around 90-ish. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a poor American. <laughs> as it seems like it is a blindingly light outside as uh, Mira will head outside and if you guys follow her you are almost blinded as you go through the door and outside you see uh what well, seems to be a smallish town in the middle of a desert uh yeah okay oh as you see some uh tumbleweeds go by and yeah Horses going along the road. Okay, so he points. He gestures. So three of you, you, three of you, three of us are gonna have to get a crash course on what guns are. Um, I've learned this. Yeah, not. That's why I said three and not five, not four. Long story short. Western guns I've read about. Looks like it'll be. Um, gunpowder is a thing here, but guns are very rare still. But they are a thing, so someone someone with a lot of money to shell out for protection may have someone on the payroll with one. I don't know, like a casino that regularly scams people out of their life savings. That makes sense. Fair enough. Well, Look, I'm just saying, if you, someone points a weird metal thing at, in their hands at you, uh, duck. And cover. Like a metal crossbow? Like a metal crossbow, but about seven times faster. Hmm. Well, noted. 
Yeah. Well, like all projectiles, it's best to avoid them. But your contact uh, stayed should be in the tavern over that way. The brine window. I see. I, I, I'm not thinking. We stood out a bit before in like London. Now we're. I, I feel like we're going to stick out even more here. Funnily enough, opposed this normal attire actually probably in London. Here is fucking super charred. Yeah. I think Toron's outfit fits in the best ish. I'm. I'm not fitting in here. I have my cloak to hide my outfit. I mean, for when it's swarf, the people are not really dressed too much as cowboys that you can see on the street. In yeah. fact, like, even though it's a town, the street is pretty busy. Hmm. I was just probably just looking at friend. A world of sand. I've never seen. I've never been. I've never seen so much fucking like sand before. This happens sometimes in nature, uh, not non-magical nature, and magical nature. It happens because of water, is it not? Where's mm. the water? Not underground. Uh, what happens is the to the um, there is no water in most of the dirt for a few for for the all the way down, and I believe things just get really dry and really uh. Crumbly. Also, no Rinse. rain, I assume. No rain for a while. Long periods of times. So, uh. Yeah, things just kind of. Oh, there's none outside. It does get very cold at night, so. Mm -hmm. And also, Riff are not oh, too far away. The cold is fine. The risk of storm. Very rarely. You'll know. You'll know it before it happens. Because it'll get dusty. No, no, because you'll see clouds. <laughs> they don't show up too often. This kind of fucking not, sucks. It's not exactly hard to determine a storm cloud from a normal one. They are quite different in color. Yeah, they do. They do really suck. Um, it took a while for it took took a while for most of us here to figure out how to actually live in them. Uh, the elemental rain was pretty bad. I think this one. Oh, oh, God! I just realized. <laughs> yep. Metal boots. This will be fun. <sighs> Couldn't be worse. Got a fucking cloak. What time is he? <laughs> just ensure your ensure your. The important positions are covered, and you should be fine. Oh god, I'm gonna walk out of here with the you are, disgusting looking tan. You either wear too much or too little. What's wrong with the tan? I don't tan she well. Says, she says this is pale as a <laughs> Yeah, aren't you like pale as I... Yes! But funnily enough, after the last mission, there's probably a bit more color in her skin, but it's still super pale. Do you tan? Well, yes, I'm just a bit malnourished. Mm hmm. But yes. Uh, do you go and proceed across the street to the telephone? Yeah. Or rip the band-aid off. Yeah, I'm expecting... Yeah, let's go. Roger that. As the youth scroll across the street, being sure to dodge out of the way of any carriages or horses that go by, you see, which I can only describe as a normal western-looking tavern, two hinge doors, block the exit but if you go inside it is a very cruel place it seems like there is a singular 
bar that runs along the back side of the bar with tables weaving in between the entrance and the bar. Different animals and monsters' heads are mounted on the walls. As inside are a very mixed individuals ranging from humans, elves, dwarves, tabaxi, that's even a minotaur. However, the oh. most prevalent race you can see, or at least the race that those are most of, are tieflings. Oh. Huh. Okay. As I imagined, you would probably go to the bar because you don't actually know what your contact looks like. Nope. Not really. Uh, Tiefling, uh, handling the bar, would be like, Ah, you're looking for Miss Key. As he points to a door that seems to lead to somewhere else at the back, she's in there. Thanks. May your future funds be prosperous, good sir. Merci. Me. Thank you. <laughs> I can't, uh, sorry. Uh, please pretend you didn't hear that. Sorry. I, sorry, I'm from I, the French. Keep, keep us yeah. down low. I'm from the French lands. Not too many people like us. Oh, Nazi, no. Nothing is extermination. I got rid of the French many years ago. <laughs> the French cowboys. <laughs> the French cowboys were ex exterminated. <laughs> Only so many of them left in these days. <laughs> New lore! New lore has been added! Yep, yep. yep. Import important lore for later when uh, we're in the middle of our. And we're in the middle of like the hangout stuff, uh, and a bunch of French cowboys just coming. It's time for the revolution. <laughs> no. Yeah. New lore, Groot. Make a cannon. <laughs> New lore. Blaze would make this lore. <laughs> but if you head to the back of the the back door. You open it to see the back room in the Brine Widow is well appointed with a polished wood rooms. table, paintings of local landscapes, and wrought iron lanterns. Platters on the table are piled with food, and a pot of tea stems in the center of the table. Sitting in a. Uh, it's like almost like a, a bench. Uh, seating all around, sitting in the direct middle across from the door, is a red tiefling with red skin, cobalt blue eyes, curly white hair that she wears in long twists. Black horns raised from her forehead in tight spirals. In her hand is a gun pointed at the door. Her legs up on the table in front of you, and in her mouth, a cigar. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, yes, very twisted horns. <laughs> Cowboy! I assume y'all are the people I've been waiting for. Oh, but hello. But yeah. Mind putting that down? Been shot at enough enough for a lifetime. And considering it might happen some more some more in a few hours. Trying to rock our first gun was the person we're meeting. Honestly should have expected it. Well, um, I need to. I need to be careful Already? who comes sees me. Yeah, that's our client. But 
of you all who I've been waiting for. She just puts the gun down on the t table. Come in, come in, and make sure to close the door behind you. Now sit down, grab some drink, I brewed some tea for y'all. And thanks for accepting my invitation. As y'all know, I'm Verity Key. And what I'm about to discuss with y'all requires the utmost secrecy. I can't stress to y'all enough how important it is that you speak nothing of what you hear within these four walls lest you want a lead bullet between your eyes. Is my aim. Understood. It just gets Torrent just gets a two finger salute. It would be it would be quite tough. It would be quite hard to uh quite hard to now and think we know to have a loose lip. As she kind of uh, take like taps or cigar against the table, laying loose some of the dead. <sighs> Good. I don't know about your organization for a little while, but you never can be too careful. I sure that you know a little bit about the job, but let me go over. The Afterlife Casino is a Nine Hells theme attraction just down the river outside of town. The owner, Quentin Togglepocket, built it. Sorry, sorry. She kind of gives you a evil look. Built it using prize money he stole from me. And i like you all to give him hell. He's hosting a tournament there, and I want you all to steal the Ineri statue that he plans to award as a prize. Embarrassing him in front of all the big names at the tournament. I also want to steal back the 5,000 gold pieces he stole from me. Bring the statuette and the gold here. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Uh, what exactly is this tournament taking place? Uh, right now and for the next 48 hours. Okay. Alright. Unlike last time, we don't have to... <laughs> okay. Wait. Uh, we have more time compared to last time. Yeah, but we actually had more time to look at it and not have active things going on. That is. Well, the tournament's just taking place over the 48 hours. So, you don't have to do it in one trip. Multiple trips, that's good. Everything's a bit easier, but more complicated in multiple trips. Now I must stress, the goal of this heist is to impact Quentin as much as possible. So yes, you can steal the statuette for whoever wins this tournament. I want you to steal it before it's over. Ruin his name, his business, and y'all be good in my books. You just want to steal everything, or...? generate some controversy. Why not both? At the end of the day, the statue and 5,000 gold will make me happy. Anything else you steal, you can keep. And well, if you ruin his name even further, better for me. And now, we're going to pay each of you 100 gold apiece. Plus, any additional funds you gather will be yours to keep. Is that good with y'all? 
That sounds uh, very nice. Yeah. Fine by me. Uh, question about this tournament. I assume no other entries are allowed currently. Uh, she is still looking at Posa to get her confirmation on the price. This price is acceptable. And in the meta, once again, you guys fail to fire the lot. What was that? <laughs> we, yeah, we're not. We're not. <laughs> like. 100 gold acceptable! <laughs> it is. Especially can, when we can get whatever we want from them. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. any extra! Fair enough. I, I, I any like, extra! Yeah, this is, like, you, you, the entire party are generally just good people, <laughs> who, and we want for very little. <laughs> uh, she will yeah. look to you, uh, Sly. Well, I'm pretty sure that the it is a uh, tournament of the top players in the world. Although, I imagine if you play well enough at the three anti tables, you might be hooked into the main draw. You any good at three anti? Oh, wait, wait. is that how? Wait. <laughs> you dice three, dr cards. three dragon anti. A dice of cards. If that yeah, if that has any hit, any similar similarity to Texas Hold'em, I might have something. Cause uh, Te Texas what now? Don't don't just dice or cards, dice or cards. Card, it's three card ante. Actually, if I think right, cause uh, guess who has proficiency in playing <laughs> cards? I have proficiency in dice. The easiest way to confirm this would perhaps just be to explain the game. Explain the game, please. Well, three dragon anti is a card game. Okay, ah. yeah, that's, that's on you. Though, uh, I, I just. We have two bases covered. Dice a card. Dice a card. <laughs> Thanks, criminal background. Uh, give me a second. I had the rules. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Criminal each other with each other, but uh, looks like Toron's. Toron's got this one. Playing cards. A good sleight of hand. That is fine. If only we had the glass. Yeah. But yes, essentially, uh, it's basically like poker, but it's uh, in this you roll 5 d12s. Oh, interesting. Um, and that is basically your 5 card hand. And you basically bet like Poco to see who has the highest total roll. Okay. Okay. I assume does does a uh, card proficiency influence that anyway, or just if um that's... that basically allows you to do bluffs and whatnot. It does allow you to actually cheat okay. your roll. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. If you like, if you have a card hidden, side so hand it in, but. It allows you to basically manipulate the game, but doesn't in fact actual results unless you, you know, manipulate it. Cheat. Yes. You act like actual cheat. Then. Ah, 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 ah. Toron immediately, you, as he talks, uh, Toron immediately has an idea. We. Is it easy for us to, like, figure out from this point that Opposa has a photo photographic memory? Um. Yeah. Ah. You you at least at the very least you know that she has a really good memory. Yeah. Okay. He, he, so on turns to 
you. I know you have a really good memory, but how good is it? Um. Well, I have a name, and I can tell you. Um. I'd say best I could do is uh. Accurately tell you the museum, uh, the contents in the muse in the Merkmeyer Museum. Uh, that's probably the best I could do right now. So, yeah. someone to go? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Keen mind. He looks. <laughs> So, if you had to keep track of a couple of cards... A child's black. He... A, a, a massive smile goes on his face. Opposa? We're going to... We're going to run... The, we're going to run this entire tournament to the ground. Huh. Let me tell you something about counting cards. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I, have supplied, I have supplied the idea. Now it's coming to fruition. <laughs> now, the next question is... I knew uh, someone in high school who could count cards. It was fun. Yeah, the next question is do you wanna do you wanna steal do you wanna bar if Blaze allows borrow his gloves of thievery with the plus to sleight of hand? Um possibly. Or you guys or you or um you guys could have it while uh while we essentially tur uh turn the entire turner upside down, uh, while everyone's distracted with the weird random with the randos, uh you can just start stealing shit. That's fine. Like <laughs> because this, if you because if, with, if, if Blaze agrees to the plan, those are his gloves, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants with them. Yeah, because the best part about this is that at any point, whenever things go bad, Torin can just punch the person he's punch everyone out in the tournament and grab something and run. <laughs> That's gonna be <laughs> backup plan. I'm gonna punch my way. Oh god, I've been shot in the liver. It's going to get more effective once I start getting my getting my other tech mother abilities, but I can disengage as a free action as a bonus action had, now. If only you had deflect missiles. Dupe. One more level, I think. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just starts deflecting at least, bullets. At least this heist might technically take a shorter time, because we're gonna be doing shit as time goes on instead of preparing. Yeah. But uh right. But oh wait a minute. Um Miss E How much would you happen to know about fair security on the sea location? Well I was about to explain that next I actually takes out a large piece of paper. If only I, if only I had my feet, I could actually help you out with this more logic. Yeah, but I, this is. I paid the dwarf who worked the construction company that built this casino to get information about both the building's public and non-public areas. Beats, beats the hell out of our, beats the hell out of our last, uh, out of our, our last map we had. Thank God. I ain't no artist to so take it with a grain of salt. But. Fair enough. Okay, okay. We can work with this. And the casino itself is mostly built into a cavern with boats riding the river that leads to it. That's the only real way I know into this casino. And, well. I don't know if it was just Spike to me or walk with the entire circuit. Well, to spite me, he only employs tieflings. Mm. Hmm. 
See, me and Quentin used to be really tight. And we even dreamed about opening this place together. But at the last moment, he stole the money from me. Well, I've been planning this ever since. You see those green doors on the map? Mm-hmm. Those are employee only. You gotta need a pass card to get into those areas. More pass cards. Unless you Worst. are able to mac um lock pick them, I'm pretty sure they're a bit magical. Hmm. And those red lines mark the security mirrors. They reflect on two twin mirrors in the security office. Okay. From what I understand, if anyone tries to steal or do anything crazy, they take into the holding cells. And well, of course, the main prize is the fault at the top left of the map. That's where they should be keeping the statuette and, well, the coin. <laughs> now. What? Uh, question. When's closing time, if they have closing time? One second. Closing time. <laughs> closing time. God. We actually, we actually, we actually know what these cameras. We actually know what these cameras do now. We haven't. We haven't. Actually... We. This is. I. A of, vague, of vague. I. I'm really glad that the thought popped into my head about you using, abusing, using and abusing keen mind. Oh no no no! Watch. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna be even better. Oh no! <laughs> but if I had, if I had, if I had my telepathy feed, this would go even better. Yeah. Because I could, I could look at, I could look at the cards. Just, uh. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, don't worry about that, Cormac. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, no, it's just getting multiple angles. Yeah, this is... Ignoring your familiar. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at my boy! Hopefully they don't kill it. Oh, that's so. Oh, that's so fun. That's. <laughs> Don't worry, he's okay. So, uh, yeah, no, it's. Your side, your side of the table is pretty set, honestly, for the plan you guys are going with. Oh yeah, no, this is. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> are you happy I supplied the idea? Oh, but wait a second. You know what the best part is? We steal right. the vault and the statue, we get to keep the rest of the winnings. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> just the actual, actual poke card this is just, winnings. This is, this is just to get more money. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, it does actually matter. Should anything like that. Well, at uh, being styled after the afterlife, Quentin's motto is the dead never sleep. Ah, he's one of those. I got tasteless motto. I knew a few of those. They're assholes. Except for that one guy. No, he was still an asshole, just not to me. So I assume for getting a, a pass card, we can just pocket them from the import. Hmm. 
What was your question? I we assume with the pass, pass cards, card. we can just pocket... Yeah, with the pass cards, we can just pocket them from employees, or only do only specific ones get pass cards. Any of the employees that need to go in and out is employee only. Alrighty. At least to my understanding. I could Stop. be wrong. Yeah. Man, as long as we get a pass card, it's like, good. It looks like entry would be a bit. Looks like entry would be a bit annoying now. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the security mirrors blocking one door. And yeah, the other is not particularly work. Yeah, so I so guess while me and really... I guess while me and Torin are causing a distraction, thoughts. At the games area, uh, perhaps try to find a way to sneakily block the view of the door. Come when some, come when one of you tries to open it. Uh, I I can maybe this new clock be put to good use, hopefully. Slide, kind of slides the hood up. So yeah, we want to walk that. The only actual, yeah, the only actual one is the bottom door. Even then, it's still very in sight of that one camp. Are the cameras in a fixed position, or do they, or do they, are they like, move? They are mirrors, and they don't move. I was checking. Yeah. You see, it is in the par area, so maybe I can get enough patrons to be crowded enough for me to, be, to get through there if I can. Yeah. Mm. For now we're just gonna have to wing most of our side of the plan. For five. Technically, have the this easier part, even if it is reliant on luck. Yeah. And skill. Brute uh, memorization. Actually, uh, thankfully, because of this, uh, logic is probably about to awaken a monster. Yeah. Because card counting in, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Have a yeah. Face. Oh boy. I don't have proficiency in it, by the way. Oh. Yeah, Toron has... Oh, Toron also has a... Oh. <laughs> Toron has a poker face. <laughs> he had a poker face. Oh, no. Look. <laughs> Look. The only time you've seen people count cards was in movies. <laughs> you have a pretty good poker face. Yeah. Uh, you're going to need it to say that you work here. Ah, uh, that's gonna be real difficult when I'm small size with my big ass fucking ears. That's racist. Oh, Only employees tieflings. That's racist. It is. So uh, I can't say I work here. Yeah, so you know who the only person who can say they work here is? <laughs> Avery. Oh. Oh yes. I could. I have magic to disguise myself. I don't. Get a disguise uh, kit. <laughs> I don't know if I can cover up all of the other problems. You can know, just tell them the no, like, uh. What's the word? Are we going by pass? 
finer tiefling logic? No, the, the schematory. You never heard of uh, a tiefling with Dwarf syndrome? Yeah. How do what about my ears? <laughs> you, you make them your horns. Big ass fucking horn. You know what they say with tiefling is the big horns. Anyways, it's like it's, it's like men with long legs. Is that do you well not to be pushy, but y'all wanting on a short time frame? Need anything yeah. else? Well, yeah, forty eight hours and well, time. Then we need time to build up patient. All right. Yeah, let's start building up that momentum on your side. Uh, Look, hmm. and again, push comes to shove, give a... Also, uh, Groot, question. Mm-hmm. Uh, with, if I put my hood up, how ob- Like, I, my cloak, like, camouflages, I assume it's very obvious when I have it up that... You know, it makes it easier for me to hide and shit. Mm-hmm. I wonder how, how quote-unquote obvious it is if you, like, see it. Even though it camouflages me. That you're a bunny? Or just in general? Just in general. Ah, uh, cause you have the elephant cloak, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's basically the- yeah, cloak of elephant kind. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's basically, um, it's like, it blends in with your surroundings. Okay. Of course, like, if you're on the middle of the floor, then it's kind of, like, useless, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you're near a wall, it just helps. Yeah, I just want to, I just want to check with that, because I want to make sure that my, my cloak uses are good. It might be able to, it might, mm, no, it probably won't protect me from the visibility of cameras unless somebody's particularly in front of me. Um, yeah, we got to, we got to wing that part. Yeah, like, you guys can handle, uh, and we'll have to handle most of the highest part while we rob this place blind, but, again, any point you give any kind of signal to us, uh, we can just, I can, Torrent can just start going, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I think, just... I think we're, I think that's all the questions we really can't ask at the moment. I, I love this setup. This is really fun. I can see. I can kind of start to see where. Honest, honest answer, logic. I think it's whenever any casino part comes up, and my brain goes, "Well, let's just take part in the tournament." <laughs> casino yeah. royale. It, it is always fun when you just have one person just go, "Oh, hey, I can do this." Yeah. <laughs> it's why I was like, "Is it dice or card base?" It's just... Yeah. I will say though, who has the most luck, yo? Uh, just through Imperial Evidence, Cormac. Uh, 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 <laughs> me, uh, it's me. Obviously, you should guys have to run next to the guy, but look how good he rolled. <laughs> no! Alright, no. so here's, well, here's the thing, here's the thing. We're fighting against your no. luck. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting against his GM luck. <laughs> his, oh, his GM luck fluctuates. Yeah, his GM luck can sometimes <laughs> hit the... Yeah, exactly! That. He's completely unpredictable! <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we find... That? Hopefully we find Dice Dungeon good luck, as opposed to... Also, to be real, like... If it wasn't a puzzle, War like probably would be, like, the second best option. Because I think she has the second highest charisma. But, um... And I'm saying that because Sly... So. Just just do the sneaking. Just do the sneaking. You are the best at that. I am. I am here to do whatever job is required of me. But I could have been down that's there. Going to, and that's likely going to involve sneaking a lot. But. Hey, I could do whatever job I needed. If I needed to be down there, I could do it. But I'm fine with this part of my plan. I imagine y'all ready then. Um, if they provide the cards there, that should, anyways. 
Well, I'll take y'all to the river sticks then. <laughs> uh, also, real quick, I want to ask one more question. What was the guy's last name again? Just to make sure I heard it right. Uh, the guy who owned the who made the casino. Can I, can I you mean Toggle name? Pocket? <laughs> She sighs. I'm not sorry, that name is really funny for some reason. Toggle Pocket? Toggle Pocket! <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> I like the view that Sly just stops for like a minute and a half to be like to laugh about his name. Pulls them all together and then gets to work. It's just a really funny last name. Fly is a whimsical creature. Is it because you're a rabbit? Uh, that's what some people say. What do other people say? Uh, that I'm a rabbit. <laughs> Are they right? Supposedly. Okay. As she makes a call out front, and as you leave the casino, you notice a carriage waiting for you. Oh, actually, oh, before we go, I'm just going to, um, as she, uh, just dress. <laughs> Yeah. Alcatraz. Yep, Alcatraz. Okay. You know what? That makes sense. The Harry Potter. That's Azkaban. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna have this fly, like... Oh, wait, it's the middle of the day. Yeah. It's hot. That's not why. They're familiar. I don't think they care about the weather. No, it's just broad daylight and a fucking bat flies out into the yeah. sky. Yeah. I thought that's a nocturnal creature. It depends on how you train them. <laughs> Yeah, actually, she she just has a bat like on her arm after they get in the carriage. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, let me actually make its token small, and then you can make it known to the other players. This is my, yes, uh, this is my bound servant. I've named it Alcatraz. Uh, I figured it would, I figured it would be useful. I remember some of my patriots telling me about it. It's quite useful. Well, by the name of well. Goron looks at you confused. As, what does, what does Alcatraz mean for where you're from? Oh, it's a nonsense word. I just thought it sounded similar to a. Um, okay. uh, it's it's no. similar to a. I, I, na I named it after a dead god from my uh, my world, uh, Alcazots. Um, god of bat. God of bats. Uh, 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 uh. Alcatraz. Alcatraz is an island. Super big prison. Super prison. 
Oh. Yeah. What's this? Okay. Is that bats? Well, it is currently a demon stuck in the form of a bat, so it's a fitting name, at least. It might? I don't know. Probably bats can kind of live anywhere. I was more talking about the fact that it is a demon trapped in the body of a bat. Yeah. Plus a prison of sorts. Yeah. As... <laughs> Not gonna lie. Look, it scares me. <laughs> look, look, look. I, look, I was debating which of the three options a pose I would have. He would make sense. It seemed it would be the one to fit the most, but not for the reasons you guys would think. 55. That's all I gotta say to it. As you guys begin riding the deserts, eventually, you start to see that the sand turns into dark. And where dot is, there is some, not a lot of grass, but the occasional grass and trees. As it seems like you are following close along this <laughs> river. But eventually, you see a sign. Well, you think it's a sign, but it's a sign that, unlike any of you, have actually seen. As... At a branch in the road, there was what looks like a freshly painted and a cured sign declaring, This way to the afterlife, in gaudy gold lettering, with an arrow pointing down the narrow branch. As you follow this route for a short distance, you come to almost a turnaround, where the carriage driver will let you out, and you see on the river a boat and a mysterious figure waiting for you. As hopefully just doesn't break anyone. Mm. Y'all can see? Darkness. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. I scroll down. I found the other kind of fucking Okay. Oh, oh big. Oh. My fucker. Oh, my fucker. My fucker big. big. Oh my god! Is, is that girl from the hit game? <laughs> anyway, anyway, as for the real reason I took this thing out, uh, Opposa is going to attempt to uh, hand this to like hand Alcatraz the site. Uh, Sly, if you could at some point somewhere, or, like while we're still in the carriage, like a pose will go. Uh, Sly, if you could please attempt to get this near the uh, try to let it out somewhere that no one could see. Uh, Alrighty, bat demon. Uh, I've already been bit by a vampire once. Please don't make it the. Please don't continue the trend. Uh, don't worry. If it does, I'll just turn it. I can bring it back. You know what? <laughs> that makes me feel better? <laughs> I think... Get in the cloak. <laughs> As the mysterious figure waiting in a long, long brimmed hat, almost his face obscured, just right silently. Well, I guess we should get on that boat. That ominous <laughs> figure. It's been quite some time since I've actually got paper for party. I'm used to the boats being long dark. You have enough room for all of us in that boat? Oh, it's growing! <laughs> oh, that could have been so useful back at my home. Probably to increase, increase the size of the number of people, that's neat.
Hello, Ferryman. Oh, he's uh, instinctively goes to the head of the boat. And looks at the ferryman! Uh, I should... Is it- is this okay? You get uh, no response. Okay. I think he- if, if it bothers him, I think I'll speak up about it. I suppose we'll sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Or gesture about it. Yes. As he looks at you all, again, it's very hard to see who he actually is with his collar up and his hat on. He begins ferrying you down the ferry. Okay. He just does not speak the entire ride, despite many prods. Uh, if you can att you can attempt to prod him or get his attention if you wish. No. <laughs> Don't piss off a rhyme. Not doing that. As the ferry happily navigates your boat down river and into an underground channel, as the cave mouth swallows you, you hear music over the echo of a distant waterfall. The cave ceiling rises high above your heads, and dancing lights bob around hanging stalactites. The river winds through the casino floor, splitting the cavernous chamber into two, and passing under arched stone bridges at various points. Card tables and other gaming stations are surrounded by chattering patrons F fill the open space. A cheer rises from deep on the cavern, which is decorated to suggest excitement, opportunity, and success. The ferry steers your boat, your boat towards the left bank, and your boat rocks as it bumps against a wooden dock. The ferry then raises one hand, gesturing at the glittering sights before you, and intones in a deep, raspy voice, Welcome to the afterlife. Temptation awaits. Mm -hmm. By the by, this boat is a quite impressive thing. Where did you get it? Or was it your, or was it your boss who got it? I sold my soul for this boat. His hand just remains outright pointing. Ah. Apologies. All business. All business. As you get off the boat, there are two attendants. Again, tea please. Oh. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Despite the face names, any any person you see in here that is walking, tea fine. Welcome to the Afterlife Casino. May you stay long and forever. And find success in the riches of the earth. Mm. Yes, with great help, we shall do so. It's really going to be an interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah. The the speech the the the, the spiel from the the boat keepers made him taun noticeably uncomfortable. Uh, 
as the patrons will help you out of the boats and on placards right by the docks it reads this rules in the afterlife stay out of the river sticks don't cheat chief chose never prosper don't accuse or threaten other patrons or the staff keep your weapons hidden or sheathed at all times only employees may pass through the grim in the green trim doors when 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 if you're motivated hmm. these rules seem quite easy to follow right seemed about right Glitch. Oh, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. You're about to watch us start uh, counting cards. <laughs> no. But cheaters never prosper. Damn. Counting cards, counting cards isn't cheating. They just don't want you to do it. <laughs> That's like, no. So glitch. Our current plan is there's a poker tournament going. Poker. There's a poker tournament going on, and Logic and uh, C Man are going to go participate to get money and uh, win while the rest of us steal. Yeah, you see, I have this, uh, I have this feat called Keen Mind. They're card counting. He's card counting. And I have, uh, proficiency in playing cards. Together. <laughs> we'll fucking... Tear this shit down. Holy shit. Oh. Oh no, what? that's just a really nice melt art. Oh. Oh? Uh, yeah, yeah, give me a second. Whoa! Oh. Nice. Got that transparent titty. Yep. Yeah. As the attendants will help you get off the boat, they will speak in unison. If you wish to get chips, please go to the cashiers at the desk. Sounds like a plan. Yes, I am doing good with really selling up the afterlife, huh? <sighs> How much is the typical buy-in? You gotta at least have have at least triple the buy-in. There are There are one copper, five copper, one silver, one gold, and ten gold buy-ins at the different tables. Well, say at the slot machines. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can bet what you wish at the three dragon anti tables and the. Bah, 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 the life and death tables. Darn it. Life and death table? Yes, life, life and death is a dice game played between the house and a player. Five players can sit at the table, but the opponent is only the house. You each roll a dice to aim in order to get the higher amount. If you tie, you can either go to war or surrender. Surrendering loses half your bet, but to go to war, you double your bet and you roll again until there is a victor. You can also push your luck if you win. And keep your bet in as long as you, as well as your winnings to double down as a house will pay double your bet if you win mm. and I trust you know how to play three dragon ante quiet hmm. so you may get your chips at the cashiers. Appreciate it. Alright. Come on. The, yeah, the like... introverts struggling to leave the boat. 
I don't want to leave, Mom. <laughs> Alcatraz, yeah, there you go. Alcatraz, don't stay in the boat with the strange man. <laughs> Alcatraz, you stay in the club, God damn it. As you get to the cashiers, welcome. Oh. <laughs> Chips are one chip equals one gold coin. If you do not have enough, perhaps you can test your luck at the slot machines, which we use real currency. He, uh, Toron just gives a look to Opposa. Shrugs. 20, 20 chips. As you will oh, put a hand I'll out. Get five. Oh? I'll get five chips. I have a question. The life or death table will cost chips or money? Chips. The three dragon and the life and death pieces. Chips. Thank you. Chips. Chips. As uh, Torin, you. Uh, give her the 20 uh, gold pieces as she puts it on a sigil on the table as she grabs something for her hand and hits it as they disappear as she good. Oh. oh I was gonna say it's a good thing to know our gold gold is just universal currency yeah Gold's gold, no matter how you look at it. As yep, yep. they will give you 20 chips. Same All thing right. for you, uh, uh, Opposa, as you give the five coins. She puts it on the sigil, stamps it, as it disappears. It takes out five. Oh no, sorry. Uh, she doesn't take it out, it is replaced with. It disappears and is replaced with the chips. Yep, yep. Fancy. I'm gonna buy ten. Okay. She does the same. So just make sure to make a chip section on the inventories and take out your gold. Yep, yep. Unless well, clearly my chips will be represented by all that platinum that I'll be looking <laughs> God, I will. Okay, wait. Before we do this. Like the the goal, the plan is you direct you 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 like give me the direction while I play the tournament, or are we both playing the tourney? Uh, I mean, both playing the tourney would be preferable. Either could at do. The moment, at the moment, we're just going to be playing the games to get like big enough In that they get us into the tourney. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go play games to fit in with the crowd. <laughs> okay, that's. Good to know, because if we, yeah, because at that point, if we, if need be, we can help each other out. But, uh, but till then, we can just rack it up, rack, rack up things on our own, so we, to not arouse suspicion. Yeah, I first need to find a spot to release this familiar. <laughs> that's what, that's how what the kids are calling it nowadays. <laughs> that's how some of the kids call it. Different worlds, different, th different, different, uh, Saiyans. Different Saiyans? Yes, logic. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan, Saiyan 2. Saiyan. Super God. Saiyan 4. Great Ape Saiyan. Broly. That's legendaries. That's green Saiyan. I can never remember it, but I know that Trunks' buff form is called something very stupid. Great uh, 4. Saiyan. Yeah. Great, because they're, cause they're separating into grades until. Uh, three happened. Four was red. Four was big. Five is what two is. So. So yeah, uh, I gotta go release this familiar somewhere. Okay, you guys are free to move around on the map as you wish. Question. Yo. Aside from uh, non-important NPCs just never showing up, how many people are actually here? Uh... There are people queuing around. I don't have uh, tokens for all of them, 
but they are yeah, yeah. pretty. Uh, what's the word? It is pretty busy and lively here. Yeah, I assume uh, these ones are like the guards. Yes, or, uh, the employees. Yes, those are specifically guards. Okay. I am going to go uh, walk around. Which one looks like? The, which one's the dice tables? Um, I assume these ones. Uh, let me. I uh, yes, I believe. Uh, presumably, presumably the dice tables are the one with five tables. Yeah. Said it oh yeah. Okay. Dice. Yes. I, as I, as I uh, if, yeah, if you ask, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I'm only just gonna just go over and look for a game, and then as as I go over and look for a spot, that'd be a good... As I go to play a game, look for a good spot to see if I can't release the familiar. Yeah. Uh, you are told that, uh, Avonis... We'll have the three dragon anti tables and copper salt machines across the river. Dice in this area is the life and death tables and more copper salt machines. In Mineros, there is a lot of people around there, as it looks like there is a rat racing and a roulette table. As you pointed that the Barmablulge is down the river Styx, and is where you can gather, uh, you can have drinks. Okay. And if you want to have uh, a spa, or, or have a massage, or any relax in the sticky and baths, turn right at the, when you get to the Barmablulge. That might be a good idea, actually. And we, please uh, keep an ear out for when the Suke Valadomi performs. They perform every four hours. God, they are French! I thought they killed the French! Actually, no, like, no wonder they're here! As. If you want to go into the high stakes tables, you must go to the canina at the far end of the casino. And of course, the restaurant is down below, if you wish. The Nessus okay. restaurant. Uh, question. How tall is, like, the cave ceiling? Uh, the cave ceiling is... I just scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Oh, uh, well, the stone... Everything is basically made out of stone. Uh, yeah, just ceiling. 50 feet high. How high? 50 feet, but there are all stalactites on the ceiling. Perfect. This is perfect. I'm... Gonna go check out the spa. Okay. As you can head in that direction, what is Opposa going to be doing? I assume Opposa and Tehran are just going to go cards. Uh, okay. Uh, so you can head in this direction to cross the river. Yeah. We just got to make sure we don't sit at the same table. We don't We don't meet until the tourney. At that point, uh, we tag team that bitch. Yeah. And then uh, from where Sly drops off, Alcatraz, uh, he's going to attempt to just kind of stay by the ceiling 
flying around until he gets near the tables. Uh, and he's just gonna perch himself. Alright. Uh, and Lola, like, what would you like to be doing? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Demonix? Oh, he... I don't think he's come back yet. Uh, what? Oh, 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 you're back. Uh, what would Lola like, like to be doing? I don't know. <laughs> the way, you, like gamble? you can go to the spa, you can go to the roulette table, the rat racing table, the slot machines, three dragon ante, and life or death. Bar. Bar? Okay. Yes. Which it is in this direction. So, I'll start with you, uh, Comac, since you are the first to take initiative. As you head over, you see a sign on where well, I just opened the door here for the Pythagorean Spa in Stygian Baths. Okay. As if you open the door, the air is warmer here. A bar is in this direction. And I said spa. Oh, I thought you said bar. Sorry, my mistake. As you both go here, the air is warmer and more humid than in the casino proper. It builds a sulfurous fragrance. It's even seeking, seated behind a desk gives you a warm smile. As chintz curtains are drawn behind her. Dear souls, care to enjoy a massage, relax in a sauna, or take a warm bath? This uh, poor soul might want too soon. I just want to see how much it would cost the soul. Ah, a therapeutic massages cost 10 GP an hour. However, you can relax in the wood sided sauna for free. <laughs> Additionally, the baths down below. Or two gold an hour, or five gold for all day pass. Okay. Ah. Thank you for informing this poor soul. Uh, I will come back to enjoy enjoy the pleasantries once I have partaken of of some of the more. Risky endeavor. Of course, of course. Just make sure you have some coin left over to enjoy. And how about you, madame? I think I shall enjoy the sauna. Very well. As all, all like, areas to change, as she will lead you through this door. As the sauna is over here. In this room, uh, you do notice a, a double set of doors over here with the green trim. But since the logic is gone, I guess we should start with you, Opposa. Which table do you want to sit at? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, right. This one. Okay. 
Uh, so can you roll me a d6? Ooh. As notably, uh, one of the more interesting patrons is this lady. Who seems to have the largest stack of chips on the table. Oh, hello there, madame. Hello. Oh, hello. As she looks at you. Ah, welcome back. What's going on? Uh, we are doing a pose. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was Ah, hello there, madame. Ah, hello. As you do notice, she seems to have a lot of drinks at the table. Quite the hall, I see. Hmm. <sighs> it's one of the few things I can do to relieve the stress. Hmm. Well, if that is the case, then may I help be a stress reliever? Mm hmm. Very sure. well. Well, as the two of us at the table, a look. Well, as she actually speaks up, well, it seems I am going to be the dealer for this round if you would like to buy in. I'll start now, and I suppose we'll put in one chip. Okay. Is it at this point that I should just look at the guy down to play poker, or should oh. I just... Pop and, pop no, uh, I'll, guide you, right, you I'll <laughs> guide you through it. I'll guide you through it. Alternatively, you could go with the authenticity of a pose up there, we know as well as she's doing. <laughs> did we not go with the poker table game rules? We, we did, We did. We did. Oh, we did. Because <laughs> Toron did like, alright, here's how you count cards. Alright. <laughs> Uh, everyone will also have one chip down for this. As opposed to this, since you're the only one at this table, you can roll 5d12 out in the open. Ooh. Okay. As, Good. hey, do you three do well, that? that'd be black back, but a bit more importantly, that's a three of a kind starting out. Well, uh, it, the, the name of the game is to get the highest roll. Oh, okay. Hmm. I got that pretty decent. Yeah. Above average. Okay, so I am going to GM roll three sets to myself. For D12s? I think that's below average. Uh, actually, yeah, that is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mm. And it's actually garbage if it's supposed to be trying to get the highest number possible. I think you may have lost. <laughs> I, I thought those were D6s for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, three fives. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, for reference, uh, you're at spot number four. So it's one, two, three, four. Starting from the top. Okay. I definitely don't know how to play this game. Not, not just poker, but apparently it's not poker. Well, here, actually, I think I can just post these for you. So it's like Poco and how, like, you raise and bet, 
but it's more like you're trying to intimidate the others. Okay. Or not intimidate them, so they keep playing. Yeah. So actually, if you want in the next, you can, uh, if you want to be a little bit more fair, you can hide your roll, and then just give me a screenshot afterwards. If you want it to be a bit more fail that way. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Actually, you know what? Just do that now. Just uh, whisper, to talk to yourself a 5d12. Um, I'll just I'll just go on another roll 20 roll there and just send it to someone else. That's okay. Fair. Yeah, that's fine. Can't wait. I can't wait for which one, gonna, which one of us is going to be de designated uh, image chart. Uh, what if we just... What if we... Me and you just send it to each other. Actually, wait, yeah, no. Hold on, logic out the mercenaries, roll 20. Oh yeah, fuck it. But just roll publicly on there! <laughs> Ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> this plan will have to change once, uh... It's like... But we're working together, but... Yeah. Well, yeah, but on the meta level, we're... On the meta we level, don't... we're working together. Like, we're not supposed to know. Yeah. So, there we go. Hmm. Zero, we'll, let, we'll get the right mood for our music. Hmm. Really, what you should have done, Groot, is force everyone to learn the rules of liars dice in 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to the dice table soon. Opposa is going to put on a blank expression, and if anyone looks at her, they are going to see soulless eyes. Ooh. Sorry, I just got back. Oh. I could hear what you were saying. Uh, what the book actually says is, like, yeah, you can actually just... If you have a three-dragon anti-deck in real life, you can do this, because they actually sell those. Oh, that's fun. That makes sense. That's rad. Yeah. Which I hit everyone get a deck of cards. <laughs> but yes. Um, so yeah, um, your spot four. Uh, since she's the dealer, uh, she goes last. So number three is going first. As they will reveal 12 first. Wait, sorry. Oh yeah, so technically you place your bet after. No, 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 sorry. You place your opening bet, then roll, and then. Yeah. yeah. Up the ante. Yeah. So, uh, number three reveals twelve. Oh, two of them reveal twelve. No, no. Number three reveals twelve. Okay. So then you have to reveal your next one. So I'll just put it in the chat. Is number three bottom? Yes. Actually. Okay. Um. And then what's the top one? Uh, you're next, cause it's going it's going three, four, one, two. Answer, answer question. Okay, so they're one. Got it. Yes. I'm marking down who's who for simplicity's sake. For you. Um, Oposa will reveal. Uh, a five. Okay. Uh, number one. We'll feel a nine. And number two. We'll feel a four. Okay. Uh, number three. Sorry, because my brain is interpreting this. Because it should be a round of betting, then reveal the next one, not bet and reveal. Right? From how I read it? Because it's the um, step is repeated twice more, would, 
On the second and third round, each participant can raise the bet before revealing the next die roll. The other participants each have three options, match, match the bet, raise the bet, in which case all participants must match the bet in that turn, or fold. Which I guess that means you uh, bet and reveal, I think. I don't know. How, how would you guys like to do it? Also, because we it, could just... It, you do, it, does, it does seem like you're right. Like, everyone reveals one card, and then bet raising. And then raising happens. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I realize... Do that, oh, no. do that three times, and that's the end of the game. Yeah. In comparison to, like, information gathering, what's going to take the longest is doing poker. <laughs> well, once we get mm -hmm. it down, it's going to be, like... Roll, bet, roll, bet, roll, bet. Yeah. So, well, not even roll. And... Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna say for number three, they're gonna do uh, eight, and then uh, they will raise the pot by two. Yeah, no, I got a fold here. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. I can't win that one. So, you can just skip to the end. Okay. Uh, so eventually, um, number one had a total of 30, number two had a total ah. of 22, and number three had a total of th 32. Yeah, oh, no, I was have. I was not winning. Uh, 27. Damn! Yeah. yeah oh, I'm getting bad luck with this game. Alright, uh, as logic, which table do you want to sit at? This one. Okay, roll me a d6. If you roll a 6, I'm killing you. Oh. Oh, uh, group, I will ask, though, uh... Actually, wait. Yeah, what's the point of card counting here, actually? Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, no, this is useless here. <laughs> uh, no, uh, for this, in card counting, I will give you, if you want to make an insight on what other people might have, if you're counting the cards or have something to count the cards, you will have advantage on your insights to figure out what other people have. Okay. Uh, so essentially, if you want to try to gauge people, I will give you an insight, and if you're card counting, then yeah, you'll have advantage on insights. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, six, you're gonna kill logic, right? Yes, so, uh, we will. Uh, okay. Because that's the NPC he rolled. Yeah. Two. What happened? I can't you are, see. Correct. Right. You are. What is it? I can't see. Real man. Real man. Is that? To 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 observe for quick. God. Just, <laughs> just so <laughs> you man. George you can stand, sir. Real man. Is the day going to come 
I guess Wait, we can't, do it. Like, Root can't do it because he records these. But like, when's the day going to come where one of us just puts down a choke and this is our actual thing? What? No, look. Alright, so, does he in-universe look like a young George Costanza? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my but god. Uh, but a teeth look. Nope. No, because not, not, cause he's a... He's a... What's he called? He's, not a... he's a patron. Just... Oh, okay. Oh my god! Does he looks a little shell shocked that he just is... <laughs> He's... Any... he looks. Has anyone told you you look like you could do TV? You could do uh, show business. Uh... Oh god, a lot of oh so god shows are ruined for me now. Your words, magic GM. Oh, you, no, I, I don't have a good impression. Ah, yeah, I used to be a comedian, but I'm kind of down on my luck now. People call me a loser now. I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> Alright, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna roll with this. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Uh, as can you roll me a default logic? <laughs> Why do uh. you know... Georgie is the dealer. Oh, oh no. no! So it's gonna go four, one, two, three. You'll end up one spot. Alright, cool. Uh, first things first, can I check if he's doing any weird shit with the cards? Roll insight. Yeah. I Because that's uh, some free money right there if it is. If he is. 23. He may be a self-proclaimed loser, but he is as clean as it gets. Alright, cool. As, yeah, you will, as you will place your opening bets. Yeah. He's gonna bet two. What again does the set proficiency get me? Just to... Um, it basically, one, if you're the dealer, you'll be able to do wonky shit if you want to. Mm-hmm. And to basically have, if you want to make checks during the game, you might have a bonus. Okay. I'm just gonna leave my token over here so I can look at this guy. <laughs> just in right. the token. So form. you place one, uh, two. Uh, people will match you. So the pot is eight GP right now. Alright. As you can GM yours, I shall DM my three. So it's going to be I'm doing two, three, four. Uh, one, to do? two, Five, twelve, three. Who, who wants to see the rolls on my end? I do, I do, I do. Well, I mean. myself from some of my initial reactions I heard. Oh, no, that's you. Oh, no, 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 that is you. Wait, no, 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 that's you. There you are. Okay. Uh, you have your roll, uh, logic. Yep. Alright. Uh, number four is gonna go first. Uh, which going is going to try my fr uh, first bit to see exactly how uh, assured everyone looks from the. Uh... What? What's the word? How good, how, how confident everyone looks. Alright, roll me an insight. Hands. Okay. Twelve. Um. Oh, let me see what I rolled. You catch two sweating a little bit. Good to know. Okay. 
Uh, number four is going to go first, and they will do a seven. Cool. Your turn. He's going to reveal a one. Uh, okay. As, uh, number two will also play a one. <laughs> <laughs> As number three, we'll play a uh, Georgie. We'll play an eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, number f uh, number four, if they are torn up, they will play an eight and bet four uh, chips. All right. An extra four or up to four? Uh, extra four. All right. At that, uh, Torrent's probably gonna fold. Okay. Um, alright. Uh, with that, number two also folds, but Georgie goes for another round, and four eventually wins with a total of 49. Yep. You were fucked. <laughs> I, when Groot showed me that, I'm so glad I was muted because I went initially, I immediately went, holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GM good today. <laughs> guys, I don't know. I, guys, I don't know if the tournament plan panning out. Uh, Give it a bit. Forty though. <laughs> Look, that that was like stupid. Holy fuck, man! Oh, bro, eh. I'm so See, I, I I tried to throw you off by doing a big bet, <laughs> which I'm glad kind of yeah. worked because I don't want to steal your money. Yeah, no, yeah. I. This, I, I I did the math on my number, which was a thirty. It's like I have average. Never mind. I'm not. Yeah, that's that. That's the same reason I dropped because when Groot revealed, revealed like a sum of twenty, I was like, okay, I only win this if they have a one, a two, and a three, and that is not likely. Yeah, All I right. I'm so glad I knew to mute myself because my I immediately went whole fuck. I was like, I'm so glad I muted. Yeah, we'll go Holy for one shit. more round of actions just. Also, that way, when you guys actually, you know, start doing heistings, the others are here. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sly, you will be up first. I'm gonna move back to my position I was at. Uh, I'm going to, uh, question, as I walk over, what, what, what is this one looking? Uh, that one? He seems to be, uh, yeah, he seems to just be keeping an eye on the anti tables. Um, which table? Uh, this guy? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's just looking at the anti tables, just like looking at all of them, like individually. Cool. So, he's, is he. Is, they're not looking in my direction, right? Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, this lady? This. Oh, sorry, I, I saw a ping elsewhere. Uh, no, she is a bartender. So, she is kind okay. of like. Like, she's, like, more focused on the gas in front of her. Cool. Uh, taking a little side step to direction. I kind of cover it. I'm going to release, cuss a little bit, release the side of my, of my coat. Okay. To, as I continue, like, kind of, like, walking down. 
to release the bat. Oh, Wait. you had the bat on you? Yeah, you gave it to me. I thought you had released it already. Good thing I didn't try using it. <laughs> yeah, I'll drag it over to you. But I can't take it with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, no, this seems like a good spot. Huh? Uh, you do notice that make... there was a sign that says this is the way to the restaurant. Sly will make his way down to look at it. Okay. Just a, a person who's like, oh, I've never really been to this one. Let me go in. Let me go investigate the spots. As later. you're on the bottom left. Yeah, I'm just pleasant to go look. And then, yeah, Alcatra release Alcatraz in a spot that's fairly inconspicuous as he makes his way down. You can see. Um, yeah, yep. yeah, there we go. Uh, let me read this out to you. As yes, you come down the stairs about 20 feet. As the ceiling here is a bit uneven and it's only 12 feet high. As eventually you come over here. And it is quite nice, you must say. If you go sit at the table, you'll be waited upon. As you can tell, the kitchen is over here. As you see this as the menu. Yeah, I'm mainly just coming to check it out. Be like, okay, this is where the food is for later. Mm-hmm. And this is the, you see the waterfall going by that you saw, you would see on the top floor. Perfect. Uh, is that it for you? Uh, besides heading back upstairs to go start gambling, yeah. Okay. Demonix, are you continuing to stay in the sauna? Uh, Monix. Dead Monix. I'm gonna spot up in there. Are you staying in the spa for now? Yep. Okay. As we shall go back to you, Opposa. Can you drag me back to the upper level? Out of curiosity, how long will it take for Alcatraz to get here? Uh... Probably a minute. How many games does that translate to? Probably a game. Okay. What you the... test your luck. I mean, yeah, she's staying at the table. Huh. As, uh, this time it'll be this person's turn to deal, so you would technically be up first to, in the rotation, as everyone will put down a gold piece. Do you also want to put a gold down? Well, not a gold down, but a chip down. Okay. As I shall roll mine, and you can roll yours. Mine's a roll. Who wants it this time? No. I can take it again. Okay. If no one speaks up, just give it the core back. Yeah. Are you able to? Are you able to call back?
as uh, you'll be up first. So you can be the first to uh, show your cards. Oh, your one. Okay. Uh, the first person will show an 8. The second person will show an 8. The fourth person, or the third person, will show an 8. This bodes well? <laughs> Eight of a kind, I see. <laughs> uh, I suppose the walrus has two chaps. Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone will probably match that. So the part is now... Well, I guess I have to actually... Well, no, because you, you put your card down and do your raise, right? Ah, oh. okay. Uh, so... Uh, here's my card. Oh, apparently there actually might be a three dragon anti game we can download. That's huh. free. I'll look into that for next time. But yeah, I uh, have you bet a four. Uh, number two is going to match your two chips with another. With, uh, Lee will do a twelve this time. Uh, number two, we'll put the two chips in and do another eight. Uh, number three, we'll also do two chips and do an eleven. Uh, which will bring to the third round since everyone is even. Yeah. Uh, the totals are 12, 16, I'm uh, sorry, 20, 16, yeah, no, 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 and worry, 19. I got him up. 20, 16, 19. Always up to three chips. Uh, so put enough. You're putting one chip in or three chips. One chip. I don't have three chips. Okay. Uh, and I will put down. Eleven. Okay. So that makes your total twenty-three, right? Uh, yeah. 19, yes, 24. Alright, I'm just trying to reason what the others will do. And Opposa has a smile on her face. Are you trying to intimidate them? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Roll intimidation. Uh... 
Okay. Um. So you fright you like you see the the foot you see the first person. Oh, sorry. You see the first person almost like shiver as they will fold. Uh the lady, the lady across from you will stay in. And the The third person looks at the hand, looks at the table, looks at the hand. It will probably yeah, I'll say default. <laughs> Uh, everyone? Oh no, number two is still in. Okay. Uh, uh, she will call your one chip and put another eight down. Uh, isn't it just putting down the remaining cards? Uh, yeah, since you match. Yeah, you win. My other cards were one and two. Oh! Uh, for, oh, for, for context, she rolled a t she rolled a twenty two on her insight. Ah, oh. uh, she no, had no, she agree. had forty two. Ah, oh. oh, oh, the forty seven folded. Yeah, the forty seven folded. That was number one. So the total <laughs> numbers were <laughs> so total numbers were uh forty seven. 40, 40. This is why I said don't fucking. This is why I said don't fucking act like Kurt's love was going to make this better for my logic. 40, 47, 42, 33. I got one ship to my name, man. Logic, I think, I think the gambling plan's getting faulty. The house always wins. <laughs> Don't you know that the house has like four points? Car couching was so useful. <laughs> maybe we can. Maybe we can go. <laughs> maybe we can go. Maybe the dice. The game house has a one. four point something percent advantage. As maybe the dice game will be nicer. Torin, you're up, my friend. Are you all? Right. Are you, I think you're the deal this time. Oh. Uh, time for some fancy card tricks. Um. You trust yourself to do fancy card tricks. I have, a, actually, actually, I have a pretty high slot. Actually, thing, no, you're but... not the dealer, but you are the one going first again. Uh, going okay. first this time. Okay. So how much do you want to put down? Seven. Three. Okay. Ooh, start strong. Seven, three. I don't know. I as yeah, the three. others will have to put three down as well, so the pot is twelve. Mm -hmm. Alright, I show all mine. Okay, who wants them? Me. Good. I swear to God, I'm gonna say holy fuck again. Okay, you got your logic? Yep. Hey, okay, reveal your first. He's going to feign uh, a twitch on his eyebrow and put down and show a three. Roll a deception. Oof. Uh, as you see two, smile. Uh, you put down a three. Um, number two is going to put down an eleven. Your buddy George is going to put down a seven. And buddy number four is going to put down a three. Your turn. Place your bet if you have one. Or, or just put down your card. I have terrible intimidation, but he's gonna continue uh, working, attempting to work up that sweat and put down 
one or more and draw and reveal a four. Okay. Uh, not betting anything. He's no. He's gonna. He's going to bet an extra an extra dice. Okay. But he's going to look like he's sweating about it a bit. Okay. Just write it down that you put one chip in. Okay. And roll me another deception since you are. Oh, I would say performance or deception, but I'm guessing you're better at deception. Oh, what now? Oh my gosh. You're sweating in the opposite direction. Uh, you notice this one guy is still, like, smiling. Um, one of the guys who was smiling before kind of nails his eyes at you, and the other guy is still kind of stone-faced. Fair enough. In the order of the table. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, number two is going to... Uh, that was the 11. He's going to put down a 9 and do a 1 chip. Um... This guy is going to put down another 7 to do 1 chip. And number 4 is going to fold. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you start the final round of betting, and reveal your card. He's not gonna add any bets. Okay. Uh, is fifteen. Gonna reveal an eight. Okay, so that makes your total three. Four and eight. Seven fifteen right now. Wait, three three six and eight, sorry. Yeah, so a fifteen. Ah, um, hmm. And this guy is technically beating you right now because he has 20 down. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's gonna raise it by one chip. Uh, he's gonna put down a 6 for a total of 26 and okay. raise by one chip. Go follow suit. Oh, uh, well, first, uh, no, Georgie. Uh, he's going to put a 6 as well. Uh, his total, I believe, is 21 now. Nice. Oh, uh, no, it's 20. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is round up to 20. Okay, uh, so you can either call or you can raise. You'll call. Okay, so that's one ship all. Uh, since mm -hmm. you did go first, you have to post your amount first. 35. Okay, number two, I'll pulls out a five and a one for a total of 32. And number three, drum roll please. Pulls out two sixes for a total of 32. And yeah, the dream is real! I bring home 15. Nope, uh, the pot was 16 with your added one. Oh, yeah. The dream is real! Oh, no, no, not 15. Uh, the pot was 18. So, yeah. I doubled my money. Well, you... The dream. Yeah, basic. Yeah, because you put in what? You, you put in five. Because you put three, one, and one. Yep. The dream is real! Um, uh, the group posted me. I was very excited because it was a possibility. Yeah, that was <laughs> I, I posted the dream is real question mark. Uh, what comment? Oh, so the the other one rolled uh, a fifteen. Twenty-five. Oh yeah, twenty-five. Of uh, which he was the one who rolled twelves on both his insights. Um, so he's but like he thought it. He he wasn't he wasn't overconfident with you. 
Uh, Georgie rolled a nat 20. <laughs> and he's like, he's faking it, but uh, I have an average hand. He can't be that good. <laughs> Although I think that it's probably what we're going to call a session. Uh, Fair you guys have a bit, bit of a hand on the gambling. Oh. How does it feel, Logic? I think I got. I think I'm getting the hang of this game. It's playing like horror. Uh, actually, I I will end session with one thing. As uh, seeing you win a good, well, a decent amount, uh, you will be greeted by this man. Who oh boy! Who kind of walks up? He doesn't, doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh, I want to see the man. Oh my god. That's... What? Oh, this is how stereotypically evil he looks. Is he our new soul good man? God, I... I did... <laughs> soul bad guy, soul bad guy, soul bad guy. No. No. Anyway, what does he uh, approach with? As you see, uh, a gnome with almost a Mephistophelian aspect to his appearance. He dresses garnishly, slicks back his wavy hair, and curls his mustache. It cultivates a long, pointy beard. Only the freckles across his nose undermine his devilish counterance. As he comes by, he's like, My, my, my! Aren't you the three dragon player? That's a quite uh, a, a quite sum you've gotten for playing at the beginner tables. I I haven't played in a in a while, so uh, we're just getting the rust off. Ah, well, perhaps when you get all the rust off, oh, you can join the big boys at the high buying tables. No. Down at the Canina. At the Kenia. You know, I might just take you up on that. Ah, very good. As you will go to shake your hand. He will, uh, in try to see if there's anything behind that <laughs> insight. I <laughs> want what the fuck. Roll insight. I see enough Christian cartoons. Um, you've come across this type much before. He seems big and comfortable in his breeches, as he wants you to empty your pockets in his casino. A pleasure to meet you. The name's Quentin. Quentin Togo Pocket, the owner of this fine casino. He... Um, he lets out a, a, a little bigger smile and claps his hand. Nice to meet you, too. Call me Genkai. Genkai? Yeah. Fake name. Fuck you. Ah, well, Genkai, I hope I... Hep, hell, I might even... Well, hells, I might even join you at a table if you make it to the big rooms. I am something of a three-dragon player myself. That's how I got the money for this casino. Fair enough. But don't be, don't be, uh, don't be too sore when I take the take a pot or two for my own. Ha ha ha! You may take a pot or two, but the end, I'll be walking you out with the riches. We'll see. I've only lost once before, and I made sure to correct that mistake. By killing them. By stealing their money. Um, we'll see. <laughs> I like your preferred, young man. Enjoy the place. Make sure to visit the restaurant. Our dinners are simply hellish. Boo. It's say to die for. Oh, shit, that's Let's great. See. He hears that? <laughs> ah, I'm gonna coin that. <laughs> Mm 
as yes, that's where we shall end session 